The potential of brain-computer interaction, BCI, has been explored in the past, but never to the degree of sophistication of the technology that is now available. BCI is a technology that allows for direct computer interaction with the brain, using electrodes to detect and interpret signals from the brain, and then translating those signals into commands that the computer can act upon. In recent years, advances in BCI have made it possible to use the technology to control robotic arms, wheelchairs, and even virtual reality environments. At its core, BCI is based on the idea that the brain is able to send and receive electrical signals, and that these signals can be translated into commands that the computer can understand. To make this possible, the brain must be fitted with an array of electrodes, which detect the electrical signals being sent and received by the brain. The signals are then processed by computer algorithms, which interpret them and translate them into commands that the computer can act upon. One of the most exciting applications of BCI is in the field of medical diagnostics. By measuring brain activity, medical professionals can gain insight into a patient's condition and make decisions about their treatment. For example, a patient with epilepsy may be monitored using BCI to detect the onset of a seizure by quickly detecting the abnormal brain activity associated with a seizure. A medical professional can intervene and provide the necessary medical care to prevent the full-blown onset of the seizure. In addition to medical applications, BCI has also been explored for use in the field of robotics. By using BCI to control robotic arms and other robotic devices, people with physical disabilities can gain the ability to interact with their environment in ways that would otherwise be impossible. For example, a person with paralysis can use BCI to control a robotic arm, allowing them to perform everyday tasks such as opening doors and manipulating objects. BCI has also been explored in the field of virtual reality. VR. By using BCI to control a VR environment, users can interact with a virtual world in ways that would otherwise be impossible. For example, a user could use BCI to navigate through a virtual landscape or to interact with objects in the virtual world. This could be used to create immersive gaming experiences or to allow people to explore virtual worlds in ways that would otherwise be impossible. Finally, BCI has been explored for use in the field of artificial intelligence. I by using BCI to detect patterns in brain activity. AI systems can learn to recognize and respond to human input. This could enable AI systems to better understand and respond to human emotions, allowing for more natural interactions between humans and AI systems. Despite the potential of BCI, there are still a number of challenges that must be overcome before the technology can be widely adopted. For example, BCI systems require a significant amount of processing power and are still relatively expensive to produce. In addition, BCI systems still have a high failure rate, meaning that they are not always reliable. Finally, BCI systems require highly trained professionals to install and operate them, limiting the potential for widespread adoption. Despite these challenges, BCI is an extremely promising technology that has the potential to revolutionize the way humans interact with computers and robots. As advances in BCI continue to be made, the potential of the technology will only continue to grow.